In this tutorial, we will be discussing about particles in Source Filmmaker. Let's try something simple like a campfire. How do I add a particle in Source Filmmaker? Simple. Go to Windows, then go to Particle Editor tool. Now don't freak out that SFM has crashed on you, Source Filmmaker is still active. You're in the SFM's Particle Editor system. Right now it's empty, that's because we need a particle file to upload. To upload a particle file, go to File, then hit Open. Here you have a list of particle files to look at. And up top is the browser of the location of the particle files. Here we have a visual look of the particles you want to spawn. Let's say Burning Torch is our example. Now what to do next? Write down a note on computer or paper of the path of a specific particle you want to spawn. Example Game TF Particles Burning player Burning torch Once you're done writing down the path of the particle, go to Tools, then go to Switch to SFM. Right-click on the Animation Set Editor, then Create Animation Set for New Particle. Here you will get this window to spawn a particle. Look at the note for the path to find it on the browser. Then find that specific particle you want to spawn. Start time is where you want the particle to start at. Emission duration is when the particle fades at the end. Particle lifetime is how long you want the particle to last. Notice you have a red particle icon in the Animation Set Editor up top. It has control points where you want the particle to spawn at. Okay, I have my particle set, but wait, where's the particle at in the timeline? Simple, move the playhead out of the shot, and then come back in. And there you go, you have a campfire. If you want to change the particle timeline for adjustments, right-click on the particle, then go to Edit Particle System to change the timeline. Notice the fourth one here is the time scale to make it slow down or speed up. The lower the number is, the slower it gets. Now we need to edit it up some more, change the size, color, to do that, right-click on the particle, then hit Instance Particle System. Now right-click it again. Then go to Edit Particle System and to click on the parts of the particle, but right now it only has one. Here's where things get a little complicated, but don't worry I will help you get through this one. Hold right mouse to zoom in and out. Hold left mouse to rotate the center of the particle and hold middle mouse to pan. To size the particle, go to Radius Random under Initializer. 
Then scroll down and change the radius max and minimum. Now to color this, let's make it blue. To do that, go to color random under initializer. Then change color 1 and 2. Now go to color fade under operator and change color fade. Then hit accept. Now we have blue fire. So that's some of the basic steps to spawn a particle and how to make some changes with it. In the next and final basic tutorial, we will be discussing about the rendering process for your finished movie. Stay tuned for more tutorials along the way, and I will see you next time.